Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, Is This the Period of Kibbutz Kaliot in Gathering the Exiles? And who really cares if it is or not? In the first year we mentioned that as people come from all around the world, 6.3 million Jews, it sounds like this is the period that the prophets discussed and prayed for and hoped for and predicted. And we said, not everyone's going to agree. You know, many uh, of our holy rabbis and brethren will not talk about Kibbutz Galia, will never talk about this period as the beginning of the Gula, as of the Gula, they're going to reject that whole concept. But my question is, does it matter one way or another? What do we do every day? We open the Shulchan Aruch, we follow it. Davening, learning, midos, chesed. So is this beginning of the period of, of the Gula? Not every day, there'd be... The in gathering the exiles? Nice question. Maybe it is, maybe not. You think it is, you think it's not. It's academic. I don't think so. I personally very much do believe this is the period of the in gathering of the exiles. This is the beginning of the redemption period. And it's not just based on feelings of my heart. It's from the Gemara in Sanhedrin, Sadiqet, where the Gemara says, Rabbi Abba says, there's two signs of the Gula. The Gemara says it. The two signs are the gathering of the exiles and the fertility of the land of Israel. That when you have those two come together, the land is desolate because the land of Israel is not like any other land. It only brings forth its produce for the Jewish people. We're kicked out. There's no produce. We come back. The produce comes back again. So the Gemara says that's the sign of the Gula when you have that, and thank God that's what's happening. So to me, that's very comfortable to say this is the beginning. You see the period. We'll see what's going on in front of us. The gathering, the exiles, plus the fertility. So you say, okay, very good, Danny Myers. There's a Gemara Sanhedrin, nice source, and I'm comfortable with that source. Take it literally that when the fruits, as we know fruits and vegetables come, that's a sign. Sama Rebbe takes it. No, it means miraculous fruits like in Gan Eden, which he's entitled to his pshat. And I'm, certainly others are entitled to another pshat. It's the simple pshat, the simple reading. That's a regular fruit. It doesn't mean some miraculous fruits like Gan Eden. So fine, a Machlon, yes. But once again, who cares? It is beginning of the Gula. It's not beginning of the Gula. It's gathering and it's not. Hashem has his plan. We go ahead and do what we're doing down here. And Hashem will take everything in his way. So I disagree. I disagree. To me, in my opinion, it's very important. If we are able to have an assessment of what's going on, and the Gemara's that had is key, that's the key to tell us what's going on, that this is the redemption process, it's very important to know that. Why? A. Eh? The Gemara Bracha Yudbet says that in the times of the redemption of the Kibbutz Galiot, we're going to have great appreciation of God than even Yitzhak Mitzrayim leaving Mitzvah in the Exodus. I said, wow, you brought people from all around the world, yet this whole process going on. Yeah, I don't believe it. I know you could do it, but I see it. I'm involved in it. I'm part of it. I'm living it. I'm breathing it. I think if we, one does have that position, this is the Gula period, then you should have unbelievable character of appreciation to Hashem that you are living during these magical times and that you could be part of it. You could be living in Israel, building up Eretz Israel, and you're part of the prophecies. What a karatatov, what appreciation we should have for that. So that's number one. I think we should know and have an assessment, if we can, based on the Gemara and Head, that this is the period of the Gula that the Chazal were predicting. So we can have a proper appreciation or feeling. Karatatov Dashem. And secondly, then this is a, a, an elaboration of something that Rob mentioned 50 years ago, I hope that I'm doing his injustice and taking his idea and expanding on it. He said when we started the Medina, when people were working to create the Medina, was it going to work? Was it not going to work? We're partnering with people who are not really that concerned about Torah mitzvot and sometimes anti-Torah mitzvot. is just, could it really work? And the Rav says the question is a good question. And the God paskin the Shailin 48 by saying, yes, it could work. Here's the Medina. All you work together with Ben-Gurion and Herzl and all the agricultural Zionists and the political Zionists and you working as a partnership together with the Zionists, even though many of them were not religious, most of them. That was a good thing. I bless it. That's what 48 says. So I wonder if we take this for a step further and say what? The more we see the process developing 
and that this the process of statehood, of Jewish sovereignty, has led to more security for the Jewish people and has led to the prophecies that the prophets predicted thousands of years ago. So to me, what does that mean? God is saying something simple. I'm bringing the Jews home. I'm fulfilling those prophecies. And you know how I'm doing it? Through the state that you created. Before there was a state, Jews tried to come home and the government rejected them, let them out to die. You created your own state with Hashem's help. Hashem says, I'm going to help bring more people. I'm in more people in the craziest, wackiest ways. Russia will bring down the Iron Curtain. America will still trickle, but we're going to get them all home. That, to me, is a sign of approval of the partnership that was created over the last 200 years between the religious and the irreligious building of Israel together to the point that God says, I am going to fulfill the prophecies through the state that you established. And the first law that you made was the law of return that every Jew could come home. You started it. I'm going to take it to a new height. I will take it to biblical heights. So to me, if you look at this period in this magical way, it's a stamp of approval of what happened hundreds of years ago, the whole partnership between the Mizrahi and others. Hashem is saying, yes, this is good. And the third point, A, Hakar Tatov Dashem, seeing a living in miraculous times, B, it's a stamp of approval on the process that was started which is a complex one and not clear where it's heading. And finally, there's other ideas, but the final one that I'll mention now is that if you see Hashem's blessing this process and that He's saying, He told this is good, so then you want to be part of the process. You want to be here in Israel. You want to be building up the land, building up the country, building up the Torah in Eretz Israel. There's an extra pull to be here. Yes, 3,300 years ago at Sinai, he invited us to come through the Torah. He invited us to come to Eretz Israel. It's obligatory. It's not obligatory. He invited us to come. But in 48, it's clear. And in 2019, it's even clearer. He wants us to be here and be part of the process. So in sum, Yes, I do believe that assessing the reality, if you have the tools to assess it, based on the Gemara said Hedron especially, to see that this is the redemption process, then that means God is calling out to us, and three things at least should occur. A, Akar Satov, that we could be part of this, and live in miraculous times. Two, there's a stable of approval of the Mizrahi approach of working together with the Chilonim to build up the, the state, and this is the right way to go, and we have to be careful and zaris to make sure never to slip in, in the Shemrat Torah and the Shemrat HaMitzvot, because once you're out in the world, it can be dangerous. And number three, be involved. God is inviting us to be involved in this process. Take advantage. Someone is in the Chutz come to Eretz Israel. So in Eretz Israel, get more involved. So those are three points that I think stem from the recognition that we're living in miraculous times, times of redemption. Shalom.